Next step, we are going to fold the top stitch edge of the button pouch up at about three and a half inches to create the pouch portion. Then we'll pull the other end, fold the other end down about an inch and a half so that it crosses and makes a pocket. You're going to iron this good and then we'll add some pins and sew it. So it's going to look kind of like this. One edge up, the other edge down, making an envelope shape. So this one's my top stitch edge. I'm gonna pull it up and go, okay, right there looks pretty good. I'm just gonna double check and see about how good I'm doing. I'm looking at about two and three quarters. Two and three quarters is okay. What I have left is about two. If I want slightly shallower, I could come up a little bit more. Now I've got a solid three inch pouch with a one and a half inch flap and that will look beautiful. I'm going to press right here really good on this edge. I'm going to make sure this crease right here, the bottom gets pushed down really good. And then this side as well. Okay, at this point I am going to stop ironing because I am going to start right down here at the fold, back stitch, come up, pivot all the way across my flap here, pivot and come down to the fold again and back stitch so that if I have two rows of stitching here, I've created a pocket to put things in. After I have the pocket and I sew a buttonhole, then I would fold this down and iron it so it stays down a little bit better. But for the sake of sewing, keeping it up will be better.